Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. I hope you guys are having a great day so far. In today's tutorial, I will be teaching you how to make this cool Twitch follow animation that I recently posted as a free template. Go ahead and download this if you guys want to. It will be in the description below. Let's get right into the tutorial. Go ahead and open up your After Effects and obviously create a new composition. Name it anything you would like. So I'll name mine tutorial for Twitch animation and go ahead and click OK. So once you've got the, your composition, what you want to do is go ahead and create a new shape. But don't go from here. Go ahead and click this little shape icon and make sure you selected the rectangle tool. And then go ahead and make your little shape that kind of looks like this. All right, so after that, you want to obviously select a color for it. And I will be putting the hex code right on the screen right now. So you guys can copy the hex code right here. It's 6441A5. Go ahead and click OK and then drag this around. And as you can see, you can't really center it by yourself manually. What you want to do is go ahead and click here and here. This is just a little align option you have. If you don't have this in your right bar, just go ahead and click window and go ahead and click this little align button right here. All right, now that you've got your little shape here done, you want to make the curves a bit more curvy. So go ahead and click this little drop down menu, go to rectangle one, go to rectangle path one, and then adjust the roundness. So I like it around 20, in my opinion. And go ahead and close the little drop down menu. And nice, now you've got your little background. Nice. So what you wanna do is obviously select the text tool right here, or just press Ctrl T on your keyboard. And that's a cool shortcut you can remember. So to go ahead and write the word follow. All right, so now that you've got your text here, you want to you want to move it so you kind of put it in the middle here, but then still open up a bit of space for the icon heart icon to put in at the left side of the button. So go ahead and move your cursor thing to uh, around one and a half seconds. So I'll be moving it there, and then go ahead and make sure to parent the follow text to the shape layer. So you only have to animate the shape layer and the follow text will just follow the shape layer. Kind of confusing, but you guys will get it. So go ahead and click, uh, select this layer and then click S. So now what you want to do is actually add a keyframe and actually animate this thing. So go ahead, move your cursor around to a one and a half seconds. Click here, this little stopwatch button and then we'll add a keyframe at one second and 30 milliseconds and go ahead and move your thing cursor thing to uh, zero seconds and change the scale to zero so it will be gone now you just want to select this keyframe press f9 in your keyboard to add cool little easy ease animation keyframes so go ahead and preview your thing oh so this little problem i just realized right now is that it's coming from this left bottom place so what we want to do to actually fix this fix this if you have this what we want to do if you have this little issue is to actually move this little anchor anchor point but if you just drag it from the move tool you see you're moving the whole thing so what we want to do to put it back is click this little pen behind anchor point tool or just press Y in your keyboard to select it, and then just move this, move this, uh, move this thing around, and then do shift while doing it so that you're moving it like a. How do you say? It? Actually, you don't need to. Oh, never mind. Press Control while doing it, and and then as you can see, it will snap into center. So nice. Now it's centered. All right. <laughs> so now that we've got this, let's check our animation nice we want to add our little heart icon 
All these project files and all those um, icon files will be in the description with the download files. So you guys don't have to download it by yourselves or anything. Now that you've got your heart icon here, just drag it into your timeline and move it on top of your layers. All right, press V in your keyboard to select the move tool again, and then just drag this down a bit, but you gotta press shift while doing it, or it, it will like stretch out like that and it will be weird. So just do shift and then just size it down a bit so that it will fit perfectly into your little button you made. All right, that's perfect. And then now just click this so it will align vertically perfectly you know just to make sure it's centered so go ahead and pl click effect click generate uh, click fill and then now that you see your heart is red you want to change it just to white so it will perfectly match with the follow button color all right cool and also don't forget to parent this thing to the shape layer one background or else it won't move with it all right so let's see how it will look nice it looks really really nice all right so now that you've got this out of the way we want to make the little click button animation right all right so what you want to do now is when you click something it often scales the whole thing down right like this what you want to do is move a couple keyframes i mean a couple frames maybe a few milliseconds and then you just want to scale this uh thing down to maybe around 85 i'll say yeah i think 85 is good you just want to move another couple keyframes another couple frames and then you want to put it back to 100 percent great now that we've got this you want to put f you want to select these keyframes again and click f9 so just in case the animation looks weird you know we can add the easy ease keyframes so it looks nice. Awesome. So we got our little clicking button little animation. I don't really know what to call it, but uh, you know, it looks nice. Yo, so this will be it for today's video, today's tutorial. Just till this part, cause you know, it kind of takes a while to make this whole animation. And you know, this is just a beginner tutorial. I want to make it a uh, easy for the first bit and I want to divide it into different videos so that, you know, I get more views. Kidding. all right i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial stay tuned for the next tutorial on how to actually make this little clicking animation and also the zoom out animation thanks for watching guys really really appreciate it thank you for what like 81 subscribers 82 83 84 okay i really don't know thank you guys so much for the support though i'll see you guys in the next video bye